All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol WWR Westwater Resources Inc. And before I jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back and let's jump into this chart. So, Westwater's had the bullish run and it ran up to these highs here of about almost $15. It was $14 and some change, quickly dipped, leveled off. And since that point, if it broke through the 50 day moving average, it would start to hit newer lows. It quickly started to hit newer lows. This was one of the lowest points that it had reached 685, jumped up, leveled off. If it broke through 685, it would hit newer lows. And here we are holding up. So the bears tore this apart on the 13th and there's been some up and down volatility, sideways movement. So between the bulls and the bears, there's a tug of war here. And even though the bears have been dominating, the bulls are trying to reappear and gain control of this chart again. And they broke through the 50 day moving average slightly and quickly after it fell and the tug of war will be interesting tomorrow. Tomorrow's tug of war is going to be either a turnaround here for the bulls or the bears are going to tear this apart and bring this down to newer lows. So the lowest point was recently made yesterday at 584 and today's lowest point is actually now down here at 567 66 566 so if 566 does get broken through this will test newer lows and start to pull further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction so that's something to keep in mind it will start to pull further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction. So let's go ahead and slightly move our supports and resistance to their new location. And we're going to look at this a little bit narrow and then we'll talk about it broader because of the volatility here and what is going on. And these points will let us know in which direction this stock is moving, who's gaining control, who's maintaining it and so forth. So, Let's look at the 50 day moving average. Right now it's at 610 and the 50 day moving average is slightly above it at actually 612. That's the 50 day moving average, 612. Two cents away. So this tug of war tomorrow is going to be, like I said, very interesting. Who's gonna dominate it? We're gonna have to pay close attention to these cues and where it's going. This can quickly move up and get back into bullish territory or it can quickly move down and continue its trend into deeper bearish territory. So again, 566 is the lowest point I'd keep in mind and pay close attention to, and the highest point for the bulls is 673. I'd write that down. That's what the bulls wanna break through to get further away from the 50 day moving average and get back into bullish territory. But before getting to any of those numbers, let's look at what's important for tomorrow. So, the first resistance level that's going to be important for the bulls is 652. This is pretty close to actually the previous, one of the previous resistance levels, which was back here at 650. It's a two cent difference. If it can break through that, it's actually broken through a point that's very important in the last couple of days because this is actually the second highest points reached. This one right here and this peak right here other than this one up here. So breaking through this resistance point will actually get the bulls a confirmation that they're pulling further away from the 50 day moving average of 612 in an upward direction and turning it into support so they can get deeper into bullish territory. So that will be a good confirmation that the bulls are starting to gain control and they need to break through this to pull further away in an upward direction, hitting newer resistance levels and newer highs. So 652 is the first resistance level. All right. And now for the bears, the bears want to get this deeper into bearish territory. They're already in bearish territory. We're below the 50 day moving average, even though it may not seem like a lot, it's two cents. So that's why the tug of war, like I've said, is going to be very interesting for tomorrow. And we're going to have to pay close attention to it. But as of right now, the bears are in control slightly with leverage. And to gain confirmation of control, they need to break through this support. It's the lowest point after reaching newer highs and leveling off and before hitting over the 50 day moving average. And that's 587. This support level 
if it gets broken through, I want to emphasize to all investors, pay close attention to how this stock is reacting. How quickly is it moving to newer lows? Is it moving sideways? Put your one minute, five minute, 15 minute chart frames so that you can see how quickly the move, the move is and where it's going, as well as look at the inflow and the outflow of the stock and who is dominating the chart. Super important. I want to emphasize it because once 587 is broken through, we're already in bearish territory and that's just going to get it deeper, further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction. So super important to keep it in mind. Pay close attention to how the behavior of the stock and how it's acting, who's dominating. And yes, the bulls do have a chance to slightly bring this up even if it gets, if it gets close to 587. But if it gets broken through, they have a lot more work to do to bring this up and break through the 50 day moving average to get back into bullish territory. So I hope that with these cues, you guys will be well equipped for tomorrow's trading day. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Share this with your friends and community. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. And at the end of this video, there's going to be a pop up video. In that video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index and how it rises on scheduled dates. These scheduled dates are allowing the Federal Reserve to pump the markets on these dates. And those are the dates that are allowing the S&P 500 to rise up due to that. And I go into more detail about it. The charts show it themselves. It's a strategy that doesn't guarantee you profits. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold. I'm just here to inform all investors on the great opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses. I go into more detail about it in the video, but just to give you a little summary, the S&P 500 rising up several points, that means something for us investors. That means that there's an opportunity to jump into ticker symbols that are rising up with it and they're rising up anywhere from 30 cents to three dollars per share i know it doesn't sound like a lot but profits are profits and those 30 cents to three dollars per share add up and it's just a strategy to maximize profits and minimize losses again it doesn't guarantee them i'm not there to tell you to buy sell or hold anything but i would like for you to check it out and not miss out on it or overlook it because not a lot of people are aware of it, and I'm here to share the great information and break it down for us all. Check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. The video should be popping up soon, and let's make some money.